morning welcome back to another vlog i think this is the first time i've talked today so it feels weird <laughs> that's not true i've talked to drew but i guess just to a camera it feels odd but hi welcome i am desperately trying to set a routine for myself today that's honestly the goal i think for the last you know honestly since the beginning of may i have just been all over the place i've had trips planned i've had moving we planned a trip out here to like see this place and all these different things and i am really feeling the effects of it which is weird because i never really had a routine like growing up i don't think i was really a routine based person but i have become that as an adult and i would say since pretty much like our trip here in april just when we visited like before we even knew we were moving back um i think since then everything's just been a little bit thrown off and like that's totally fine that's because life is amazing and we got to travel and we got to move back to like our favorite city and all these wonderful things but yeah i just feel the effects of going non-stop for the last like two three months and then also like not having any kind of routine so all that to say got up this morning did a workout made a smoothie walked the dog obviously that's like the first thing we do played with moo a little bit got myself showered i put some self tanner on my face so that hopefully we can like match this situation a little better my sunburn is doing much better it's honestly just really like a tan at this point so pretty pleased about that definitely need to lather on the sunscreen the next time i go in the sun though and i've been doing that every day anyways but today is really just gonna be like an editing catch-up day i was actually supposed to drive and see alexa this morning but i texted her and i was like i need a day to catch up and she was like it's totally fine so we're gonna facetime tomorrow and like make a plan soon but i think i just need to like catch up on as much editing work as i possibly can i have an editor who helps me with certain main channel videos but there are other ones that i just want to edit for myself so that is what i'm going to be doing today catching up on editing vlogs catching up on editing main channel videos and just you know relaxing like settling in let's head into my room i genuinely want to edit from my bed today and that is one of the amazing benefits that comes from working this job is that sometimes i can edit in my bed or on my couch if i want to and i really just want to sit in my bed so that's what i'm gonna do don't mind the sound of the fan behind me i was doing a workout earlier and i was sweating but this entire outfit is airy today these white bike shorts i got i I think like two years ago it was when I did a collab with Sierra where we sent each other clothing items and like had to style them and they're really comfy and they're clean so that's why I'm wearing them <laughs> and then this like little bralette top I think I showed it in a vlog but it's also from Aerie and we're just going with comfy vibes today so I will check in with you in a bit after I've gotten some editing done fingers crossed for me <laughs> Go for a walk? Oh, do you want to go for a walk? Okay. <laughs> Drew has a tiny bit of a peanut butter sandwich and she's following him everywhere. Okay, that's rare. Don't come for us. Let's go for a walk. It's about noon now and we just took a little break. Lila's taking a break from lounging outside. And we're going on another little walk lately since we moved here she's been getting like three walks a day and she's literally so happy and it's so cute yeah they're short she can't go for like extended periods of time because of her arthritis but she enjoys it so much and it makes her so happy and it's really cute it is absolutely stunning outside today and um also i was really really brave and i made a phone call and made an appointment for myself and i was so brave and i need everyone to acknowledge how brave i was if it looks like I just woke up from a nap. It's because I did. I definitely did. I'm gonna make some lunch. I am so tired. I don't sleep very well on like an average night. Also Drew's in a meeting, so I'm trying not to talk too loud, but on an average night, I sleep six, maybe seven hours. Seven hours is a good night, but usually like six. And like I wake up so freaking early, so well, last night was no exception. I'm going to make a salad because I have not been making my favorite salads like at all since I've been here. I've been eating like a ton of Postmates and there's nothing wrong with that, but I just definitely feel pulled to like eat some more veggies this week. So I actually have some leftover sweet green that I got yesterday. And like normally I wouldn't eat a leftover salad, but this is like a bowl. And it's mostly just chicken with like some sweet potato. I got an extra dressing. So I think this might actually be okay. And I might just like put it over some kale. So 
smells delicious. And I'll just like add some stuff to it. And do some kale, obviously. I'm a kale girly through and through. It's just my fave. I do have a salad spinner, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm way too lazy to use that right now. Throw some kale in here. Then I'm going to put the dressing. Mm, it's like some kind of like hot honey mustard or something. It's really good. Some pistachios. Got some of these like Trader Joe's brand Parmesan crisp. I think they're Parmesan. Hey. Mm -hmm. cheese bite. Mm hmm Drew's out of his call. Food shaming me. These aren't as good as the like Parmesan crisp brand, but it'll do. I really am in the mood for some cucumber and carrot. I'm gonna do a little bit of that, maybe just like a little veggie plate. I wish I had some more. We had this like these dips from the farmer's market, but we ate it all, so. I might actually put a little bit of this cucumber in the salad as well. Is it weird that I'm cutting these cucumbers on a tea towel? I don't know. I'm too lazy to get a cutting board. And I'm gonna put my sweet green. It's like quinoa, carrots, cabbage, chicken. Oh, I need to choose my spicy water, obviously. I'm thinking, so I have a little bit of key lime, a little bit of limoncello, and a little bit of watermelon left. I might do the last limoncello. This one's very interesting. It's like a vanilla lemon flavor. Let me mix it up so we can get some dressing going throughout. I'm into it. I'm not into these massive pieces of cabbage, but it's good. So I'm going to try to scarf this down as quickly as possible because I really need to get back to work. I'm going to enjoy this and then we will continue with this work day. I look so tired. <laughs> A while later, my face tan has definitely kicked in. It's looking, I don't know, I'm adjusting. But anyways, we did get a package. We ordered some like other towels from Bagu. That's where our bathroom towels are from. And we also ordered some like extras just to have as, you know, for when the other ones are washing. And then I also ordered, look at it. Oh, it's so cute. Isn't I it? I haven't seen it, no. Yeah. It's like a little, um, Sort of like cooler bag. Yeah, and it's like a decent size too. It's definitely like for the beach. Yeah, it'd be perfect for the beach or like a little picnic. Well, you could buy like um, reusable ice packs. Yeah, for it's sure. Ice but like, how cute is that? And this print is called Farmer's Market. So cute little vegetables on that. And then the towels that we got are the smiley face print. They're so cute. So these are gonna be for when our checkered towels are in wash. Or for guests. Or for guests. Yeah, when guests come over. Are you okay? No, I'm cutting an onion. Drew's having a meltdown. Cutting an onion. We're making a curry, like a really simple curry for dinner. And by curry, I mean yellow curry sauce from Trader Joe's. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Deeply not a real curry at all, but like quick and easy. So that's what we're doing. Drew and I have decided that what this day needs is some baked goods. He's cooking dinner. I'm gonna make us dessert. We bought this brownie mix, like I don't know, when we first got here or maybe even before we moved. I'm thinking that some brownie action needs to happen. This is how real bakers bake from the box. I am really in desperate need of a Great British Bake Off season. And I know it usually airs during the summer if I'm not mistaken, but we always get it later. Three tablespoons water, half a cup of oil, two eggs. Feels like a lot of oil, but okay. I did already grease my dish, so nobody come for me. And yes, I did use a Tupperware to mix this because there's no rules. In she goes for 22 minutes. Now it is 
it's time to sit on the couch and what we would normally do is watch Love Island. However, in our quest to airplay Love Island from our VPN on the laptop, you know, as an update, um, we can't get it to work. So we ended up just watching it just straight from my laptop. So that's what we're gonna do later. We laid in bed and watched like, what, four episodes last night? Three or four. Three yeah. or four. So that's probably gonna be the plan for tonight. But we're just gonna go back to our old classic, tried and true favorite, Escape to the Country. We love it so much. I hope it's a Jules episode because he's my favorite. All right, dinner is done. Brownie Sundays, well, just brownies with ice cream, is made. We're gonna crawl into bed and watch Island. What? Watch Island. We're gonna crawl into. I love Island. <laughs> We're gonna crawl into bed and watch Love Island, and we will catch up with you another time. Goodbye. Good morning. I'm headed to the nail salon today because if you missed a couple vlogs ago, or last vlog, I unfortunately had a horrible nail salon experience and less than 12 hours after getting my nails done, all the gel polish was like falling off of my nails like one by one in like whole pieces. It was awful. So I'm trying a new salon today. Actually, it was recommended by one of my friends and I saw a couple of people on Instagram talk about it too. So that is where we're gonna head and fix these tragic nails. Like. No, it's time. I'm gonna try Gel X for the first time, so let's see. I felt like this was interesting to talk about because it's something that I actually get asked about a little bit and that's my lash extensions. So I haven't gotten lash extensions since probably like shortly before we moved, so mid-June and it's now mid-July. And I actually had a lash appointment booked for two days from now and I canceled it this morning and I think I'm going to take my lash extensions off at home. I'm not looking for advice on like if I should do that or not because I'm just gonna do it so <laughs> what I did kind of want to talk about was that I am actually like taking them off not because I don't want them anymore but because I feel like I've I don't know like relied on them too much to feel pretty or to feel put together or whatever and like genuinely it's making me I feel like I need them and I don't like that feeling that feeling actually grosses me out and I have become so obsessed with lash extensions that oh I still have a mask enough that like after a week of having them and they start like falling out and they don't look perfect I'm like freaking out thinking that I'm ugly and that I don't look nice and you know what I mean like it's just not I don't want to be in this cycle of feeling like I need any kind of beauty treatment I know I'm going to the nail salon right now but I'm fine with my nails it's whatever I would like them to look better right now but with the lashes I don't know I have a lot of truthfully like dysmorphia when it comes to my face and like the way it looks and the way I look without makeup. It's been a thing for most of my life, especially because of my skin, which doesn't help a lot. But I don't know if anyone else is out there that has felt the same way. I just wanted to kind of speak on it because usually when I talk about things and I'm like, nobody feels this way. And then I get so many comments and DMs from people being like, you have no idea. Like I feel the exact same way. So I don't know. I, I started at the beginning of this year treating myself to like a lot of different beauty treatments. And I stand by those. Like I've loved them. They've been amazing for my confidence and just self-care in general but I have felt like with the lash extension specifically that's half of it like is feeling you know like I'm not put together unless I have them and unless they're like fresh and perfect and I don't want to feel that way and secondly sort of the other half of it is that I don't enjoy lash appointments um in fact I'm like crawling out of my skin every time <laughs> some people can just lay there and fall asleep and relax or like listen to a podcast or an audiobook I cannot I am in panic mode the entire time I talked about this during my first lash appointment like I don't know a few months ago and I had like a mini panic attack and that was like the first time I've had a panic attack in years honestly like or come close to one um and it was bad it was like my body was trembling and stuff and it was embarrassing and I was sweating and I just I don't want to do that anymore <laughs> so anyways that's my little mini rant but Drew just texted me it was like you left me he was on a call when I left I have nothing else to say that's pretty much it I'm gonna call him back and we're gonna get our nails done let's do it